these days majority of the models which we are seeing everywhere are transformer based whether they are closed source like chat gpt or pick almost any model from hugging face and it will be of transformer architecture transformer architecture and then its related attention module is what most of these models are using the transformer architecture succeeded rnns and lstms to become the architecture of choice and without any doubt a lot of progress was made using transformer architecture such as summarization translation text classification entity classification and much more and last year 2023 took this whole transformer architecture to next level we saw models with billions and billions of parameters with amazing ability to do lot of things with multimodalities but now there is a problem problem is that these transformer architectures they are very good but they are not that good when it comes to long context many sub quadratic time architectures such as linear attention gated convolution and recurrent models and also structured state space models have been developed to address transformers computational inefficiency on long sequences now that is where this new architecture mamba is the architecture of future according to many people many experts in ai they believe that mamba is going to succeed transformer architecture so in this video i am going to show you one of the llm large language model based on mamba architecture which is called as mamba chat i will show you how you can install it locally i'll be using google colab but you can use the same command for any linux architecture one thing to be noted is that it doesn't work with cuda or nvidia graphic cards below 11.6 so th that is where you would need to upgrade your cuda because transformer architecture based models would work with that but not the mamba based okay now having said that going back to the mamba architecture mamba what mamba does mamba has identified a key weakness of transformer based model in their ability to perform content based reasoning and make several improvements so what mamba does is first it simply letting the ssm parameters be functions of input addresses their weakness with discrete modalities which allows the model to selectively propagate or forget information along the sequence length dimension depending on the current token secondly even though this change prevents the use of efficient convolutions the researchers of mamba have designed a hardware aware parallel algorithm in recurrent mode and then they have integrated these selective ssms into simplified end to end neural network architecture without attention or even ml mlp blocks and that is where mamba shines mamba enjoys faster inference even five times higher throughput than transformers and also linear scaling in sequence length and its performance improves on real data up to million length sequences that's correct okay so I'll drop the link to this GitHub repo in video description so that you can read further. So as I said, I'm going to show you how to install this Mamba Chat, which is a first chat language model based on state space model architecture, not the transformer. Now, let me take you to my Google Colab where I am going to show you how to get it installed. So the first thing we need to do is to install few of the prerequisites. Another cool tool which i am going to use with this uh, collab is called as text ai which i have used in various videos i'll drop the link in video description too so that you can read along one of the easiest tool to get up and running with these models so first let's install txt ai should not take too long it is all in one embedding it is it provides you vector database it provides you pipeline and lot more let's wait for it to get installed text ai is installed now let's install the mamba ssm which is needed to run the mamba architecture models let's wait for it to get installed so mamba ssm is also installed now let's let me show you how exactly it works 
So what exactly we, here we are doing in order to make things easier, we have created a class in Python which is called as Mamba Generation which will generate the response from Mamba's model. First, we are just importing some of the libraries, tokenizer because we need the tokenizer to convert the text which we'll be using. And then from here, we are using Mamba LM head model. And then simple TXDA is pipeline through which we will be generating the responses. This is first is a constructor. Whenever we will create an object, it will initialize the model and auto tokenizer. And then from here, execute is going to run the inference for us. So it will first tokenize. Then it will run the inference and generate the output and then we will uh, decode the output and return the results. Let me run it. Let's wait for it to finish. Let's define our data set to as the class has been created. So here I'm just creating the embeddings. This is a data set about some facts from Australia. And then I'm creating the embeddings, which are the numerical representation of this data. And this is where it is just downloading that tokenizer and creating it. And it is fairly quick because my data set is very, very small. That's done. And now let's download the Maba chat model and do the inference on it. So let me paste the commands first. So here we are again, simply embed, you know, importing the embeddings, we, we don't have to do it because we already did it above anyway. This is where we are specifying our Mamba chat model. This is a prompt template for it. And we are asking it to just focus on context to, in order to answer the questions. And this is where we are asking it few of the, uh, one of the question, which is how many hours call us sleep per day. And this is some data which we already have specified there. And now first it is downloading that Mamba chat model, which is of around 5.55 gig. So let's wait for it to download. While it downloads, let me take you above to the data. You see that this is where we have specified that call us sleep for around 20 hours per day. So this is what we are asking it, that how many hours call us sleep per day. Let's see if it Mamba model is able to answer that or not. It is almost downloaded. Shouldn't take too long now. It is done. And now let's wait for it to return the response. Okay, there you go. The response is totally off and wrong. Um, it has given me answer about Australian emu, which, but I asked it about koalas. Okay, let me say, can you ask, and let me print it again. Let me see if second time is the charm or not. Nope, still. Okay, let me ask it any other question. Maybe it is unable to find it because this is what it is returning about emu and that is not what I was asking it. Okay. I'll just ask it is about platypuses because fact is that platypuses are highly poisonous and have enough venom to kill a dog or stuff like that. So let's see if it is able to answer something like that. Let me paste it here. I'll ask it simply. Are venomous, let's see. Awesome. So this was correct. So it says yes, platypuses are highly venomous and have enough venom to kill a dog or make human seriously. Ill. Anyway, so I would say it's a good response, totally spot on. But having said that, I think because this is still evolving and a lot of work is being done on these models, um, especially this architecture, which is very, very promising, especially in the long context models. So if you're aware of any other architecture or any other technique to uh, make sure that long context are handled properly, then please share your thoughts in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.